Greetings everybody and welcome to the first in a two-part tutorial on texturing and lighting in FreeCAD. In this first part we will go over the basics and try to create an indoor scene and in the second part we will make a more complex outdoor scene as well as covering some lighting aspects in FreeCAD. To achieve this I'll use a FreeCAD 0.19 app image and although this is achievable in FreeCAD 0.18 uh, the development version offers some tools not present in the stable version. First of all what we will need is an uh, add-on called Arc Texture installable from the add-on manager. This add-on was created by user40 and you can find more info about this at his uh, github page. This is his uh, GitHub page, take a minute to read uh, through all the documentation and bear in mind that this little triangle here expands the section and you can find more info. Uh, of course there is um, an announcement uh, post uh, on the FreeCAD forum and uh, you can go there as well and uh, gather some information. Also, uh, there is a big choice of textures available via um, over the internet, but um, always be uh, aware of the licenses used if you plan to uh, use them in uh, commercial um, projects. User Kunda in the forum has uh, pointed uh, to this uh, Sweet Home 3D link page where you can find uh, a lot of textures one then that, that I uh, once a uh, website that I like a lot uh, is uh, sharetextures.com uh, with a really nice collection of textures of course we have texturize with some good quality uh, tileable textures and uh, the texture lib one there is a great choice uh, of textures over the internet so let's start by installing the add-ons. We need to go into Tools, Add-on Manager. From the list of add-ons we choose Arc Texture and we install the add-on. We will uh, be then prompted uh, to restart FreeCAD. Next we will need to add the um, add material utility from the Arc Workbench um, and for commodity we'll add it to the Arc tex Texture Workbench. So using the drop down menu we go into our Arc Texture, right click on your toolbar, choose Customize, go into Toolbars, we choose on the left uh, side the Arc Workbench, on the right side we choose the Arc texture, of course. We create a new section, I leave it named custom one. And from the arc texture, we need uh, the material and multi material uh, icon. So I choose material, we move it here, and we choose multi material, but I can find it. Multi material, and we'll move it here. Close this dialogue. At the time of making this tutorial there are some limitations, this being pre, uh, pretty new functionality in FreeCAD. One is not being able to texture unwrap like in other 3D packages, but um, only whole objects uh, can be textures. There is no per face texture orientation control. Speaking of which, the texture ori orientation will not uh, will work only on geometry created with the part workbench, and although other type of geometry can be textured, uh, will lose control of the per face uh, texture orientation. Another limitation of the, at the time of making this uh, is that uh, in some cases we need uh, a bump map for our textures in order for them to be shown. But for this there is an easy workaround, uh, we'll, uh, we will create the bump map uh, from uh, our texture in GIMP, we'll see that further, further ahead in our tutorial. This being said, uh, bear in mind that this add-on is still being de uh, developed and the possibilities are really exciting. One big hope of mine is having uh, ambient occlusion for the viewport, but uh, this is up to the developers uh, to iron out. 
speaking of which big shout out uh, to them and uh, really always consider donating to this incredible project uh, it can make for a, a better software and uh, for a better community there are also some best practices to be taken into account. Uh, apply the texture only after you've finished uh, modeling your geometry. Otherwise, it might be easily possible that you break your texture mapping later on uh, and uh, have to do it um, again. So let's uh, start with the basics. Going into our uh, part work workbench, we'll create a cube and we'll give it a dim dimension of one meter by one meter by one meter selecting the cube and going into our uh, model uh, data tab we'll uh, right click We'll choose show all and this will expose all the hidden variables uh, for our cube this is one of the reason why we use FreeCAD 0.19 for this tutorial in uh, 0 0.18 only arc workbench uh, objects uh, had the material property but now we can apply that for any ge geometry that we want from FreeCAD 0.19 onwards, it is uh, possible to also texture objects uh, created with other workbenches than Arc Workbench. And it goes like this. Select uh, the object in the tree view, right click on the data tab, show all, then right click again, we'll add a property. It must be a property link with the group base and the name material. Okay. In order for our textures to be displayed, the geometry needs uh, two properties, a material, a material property and a texture config. So we go ahead and add the texture config uh, to our cube. Select uh, the cube, go into the art texture workbench and first of all we'll add a material we click the add material button we'll choose a preset and i want to choose wood generic okay and because we had our cube selected uh, when we created the, mat uh, the material it was already applied uh, in the material field of our object Next, we need uh, a texture config for our cube. So we go ahead, we select our cube and click the add texture config. Then we double click on the texture config and this will bring uh, up our uh, texture uh, config um, dialog. We'll add the material. In the texture field, we'll add a texture material of your choice click OK and then we need to unhide our texture config file our texture config as you can see there is this problem where the um, texture is not displayed and this is mo uh, most probably a bug to work around this we need to add a bump map uh, to the texture config as well so double click on the texture config and we'll choose the correct textures we'll choose wood parquet for texture and for the bump map we have a normal texture as well click ok and surprise our texture is mapped on the cube and it uh, looks uh, honestly quite well If you do not have a bump map uh, for your texture, it is easily done in GIMP uh, and we will go ahead and do just that uh, as, an, uh, as a quick uh, 
exam uh, example. There are two types of bump maps available. So there is the height map, and this is a simple grayscale uh, gray texture that contains height information per pixel. The darker the pixel, the deeper inside uh, the surface it is. And also we have support for normal maps. And the normal maps map uh, is a bluish type of texture, and this map look, looks more realistic than a height map. As it contains more information than a, than a height map. The color of each pixel defines the normal vector for this uh, part of the surface. So light calculation could be um, a lot more accurate. So as a quick uh, example, open up your file browser, choose your uh, texture, open with GIMP, go into colors, Deset, uh, desaturate your image. I choose lum uh, luminosity. OK. And then to further improve the effect, we'll go into colors, curves, and we'll try to enhance the effect of the grayscale. Click OK. Go ahead and export uh, your image as white brick uh, texture export. Going into texture config, we'll choose white brick uh, texture. As a bump map, we'll choose the newly created uh, bump map. We'll click OK. And as you can see, our texture works beautifully and it looks quite well. But what uh, if we have an object that does not uh, match our texture aspect ratio or we want our texture to be displayed bigger or smaller? Double click on your texture config and just insert your texture size of choice. Click OK. And now our texture has a correct aspect ratio as well as we can control the dimension of the tiles displayed on the texture. Also we can rotate the textures on a per face manner. Select the texture config in the tree view and then click the configure face uh, button. Positive uh, values uh, in the um, Input field will rotate the texture clockwise and negative values will rotate the textures uh, counterclockwise. So select your face and click apply. We'll try to match this side of our cube. Select our face. We'll try to rotate it by 90 degrees. Apply. Oh, I didn't uh, have uh, the face selected. So select our face, click and then apply. And as you can see, our texture was rotated. Of course, if uh, we need, uh, we can rotate the tex texture by 45 degrees also. So. We have quite a lot of control over the texture orientation on a per face manner. As this tutorial is getting pretty long, I'll leave you with a teaser for the next episode and wish you all happy engineering.